Charles. You're coming with us now. Coming up on Crossfire Collectibles, the G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Collection Cobra Eel Comparison and Review. Stick around. What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Happy Sunday. Today's video, we're gonna be reviewing and comparing the G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Collection Cobra Eel. Now, as I said, review and comparison. Um, I kinda wanna display the eel in the pack. I only have one currently, and I did get him a little bit early. Um, I do have another pre-ordered, so I'm not gonna open him just yet. So this video is basically going to be a comparison and review overall of the figure. So if that's something you're into, be sure to stick around and check it out. But anyways, so I have the regular Amazon exclusive Cobra Eel right here. And here is the Retro Classified. I love the card art. It's like great. It just seems a little tall for me. I mean, I know they're all like this, but it's just a little big. I want to display a whole set, you know, on the wall. But, um... It's a lot of space that takes up, so I'm unsure about that yet. I do have a bunch of other retro collections still carded, and um, the debate is ongoing. But anyways, check out the back. Here's a shot of the file card. So overall pretty cool. Down at the bottom, you have the eel, beachhead, and snow serpent. We also have the snow serpent that we'll probably do a review and comparison on as well. And then uh, Beachhead is not here yet, but um, he's definitely going to be open. But overall, pretty cool. I mean, looking at the figures itself, you can see that um, the new retro one has a more, uh, I guess, Caucasian skin tone to him. So if you take the regular classified and uh, pop the mask off, you can see he has a bit of a darker tone. Um, everything is the same old, all that good stuff. Uh, his harpoon gun here, you can see he's got a blue cord on it, as towards the regular classified as red. Uh, the little diving knives are the same. The uh, flippers are the same. I want to say that the overall paint on the figure itself is the same, but I'm seeing a slight difference in hue. Maybe it's the lighting, maybe it's the figure inside the packaging, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing there. Uh, looks like the stuff on the side of his little wristbands is the same. Flip around to the back. You have a Cobra emblem on the back of the uh, scuba tank here. As towards the uh, classified figure, it has that kind of eel design uh, symbol, I guess, on the back of the scuba tanks. You can see the eel like curled around in there with all that good stuff. So um, overall, there's not much of a difference. I'm going to actually wait, like I said, to open this figure. Simply because... I want to, I'm thinking about displaying him. Um, I don't have room currently for two eels. Uh, as much as I'd like to display them, I just, I don't have the room for them. Uh, space is filling up. I collect other stuff besides classifieds and I'm getting a little tight on the space here. So uh, with that debacle, um, I just think this figure is cool. If you had the original eel, you know, he is absolutely awesome looking. Definitely brings back the memories, you know, the nostalgia from the original Real American Hero eel. And uh, the new one, I do prefer, I guess, the uh, the Kerber logo on the backpack. That, you know, that little uh, band coming off the spear gun doesn't really matter. And um, I don't know. I think what they should have done with this is maybe give you a difference of heads so that way you can choose what you want. Uh, give you a little decal sheet so you can change the back of the backpack if you want and just make them, you know, make them higher quantity numbers in case you want to troop build them. Um, it was cool, I guess they did a, a re-release on it, you know, due to the uh, low numbers of the first deal. But, uh, I don't think the, uh, the eel itself was worthy enough of a retro card. And by that, I'm just saying, I think a retro card should be based around, you know, the classic characters and more of a, you know, classic look, you know, from the cartoon and, um, you know, you already got it, eel. You just should have made them in larger numbers and gave you some more options. But overall, I mean, I can't complain. You know, we're getting another eel. They didn't the first time, so they're just, you know, fixing some mistakes. 
but you know to certain collectors like me who will not troop build this i know there's plenty out there who will so kudos to you but you know the eel is just not a troop build for me maybe one day if they make a uh, like a classified hydrofoil or something i would but eh. so i think the really only difference is this is you get you know a couple color swaps you know, the different logo, and of course the stand, you know, it's always a plus getting a stand with the retro figures. That's a, that's a main thing while we always get them. Maybe they'll release a, uh, like a stand pack so you can, you know, buy a bunch to stick with the other figures. Um, it doesn't matter to me. I know that they sell uh, some third party ones, you know, over at like Chosey and, uh, Gundamint and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, for the retro deal itself, there's just not too much of a difference. I mean, you can't really call it a, too much of a repaint. You know, it's not like a Viper or in a totally different color. You know, I would at least like to have seen like how they did with that, uh, with the San Diego Eel. You know, they came with Flint, um, the Night Landing. You had them two different color vamps, Mark IIs, and then you had an Eel. So the Eel they gave you in the retro colors and the other one was kind of like color swapped. So he was like a majority of red and black and uh, very, no, no gray at all. That was a cool figure. Maybe they could have should have did something like that, but not in a retro car, just a separate, you know, um, repainted eel. So overall, I mean, he's cool. You know, grab him if you need him. Um, I think I'm good with this. I'll just get the one, and I'm still debating if I'm even going to grab the other one, because like I said, I do want to display some. Apart from that, it's not much. Just a little sort of review and comparison, and that's pretty much it. So anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, we'll be back during a week with some more stuff. And there will be some openings. So please, if you like what you saw, like always, leave that giant thumbs up. Subscribe. Tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us all on social media. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. Back to G.I. Joe.